Guys, please make sure you stay until the end. One common mistake that people often make can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs parts, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Tahoe or Chevy Suburban, that generation here from year 2014 to year 2020. If you have one of those, you have a red battery light on the dash. You want to see what can cause that. It doesn't mean necessarily that you have a better alternator. It could be simple fix. We'll talk about that, what we see at the garage. We'll explain where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way do not waste money and time. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, bodywork guys, engine codes, transmission codes, fuses, relays uh, as well guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos. Guys, we have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time. We'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience. Please check it out. So guys, if you have red battery light on, what can cause that? Multiple things, but it could be super simple fix where it's just a bad fuse alternator fuse that's actually hidden. It should work on both Chevy Tahoe and Chevy Suburban because both of these models are built on the same platform. The main difference is that the Tahoe is a little bit shorter than the Suburban. But what do we guys need to do now? By the way, you have up to five different hidden fuse boxes in it. Most owners do not know they have them or where they're located, but that's okay. That's why we made a special video on our YouTube channel. It's called Chevy Tahoe, Chevy Suburban fuse box location and diagram. First, we need to open the hood. When you guys open the hood here, facing the engine on the right side, this is the driver's side, we have uh, the main fuse box. Open that cover and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you will lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So here guys, okay, if you look, if we zoom in, the alternator fuse needs to be quite quite big fuse, usually they're 175, 200, 250 amp fuse. The biggest fuse that we see here is 60 amp, so it's not here. Then where it's located, guys, you come under the hood again, but this time, guys, you're going to go, okay, to the passenger side. You see that's your car battery here. On top of it here where the positive cables are, you see that box on top of the car battery, okay? you will have the positive battery terminal cable here, right? But that's integrated fuse box. And that fuse box, okay, let me show you from the top view what it looks like. Just like this one. Now here you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six fuses that will need to be checked. Check guys these fuses. In some cases, okay, you may actually on some models even have a fuse on the back sometimes but not quite often most of the times okay your fuse guys okay will be located here other things that you need to check make sure the belt didn't fall off the alternator because if it does it will not turn the alternator and it won't, the alternator will not charge in addition the water pump will not be spinning and you can overheat and destroy your engine another thing guys okay it could be a bad alternator too if you want to see how to test alternator, we have many videos on our YouTube channels that will test, tell you how to test it, how to find out if it's charging and uh, what are the symptoms of bad alternator diode. We have videos on our channel that will teach you all about that, but that's, that, those are the most common things we see here at the garage. 
So guys, I want to show you now something. Okay, check this thing out. You have all different kinds of fuses. Fuses, relays, circuit breakers, something that could be really hard to find. And if you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't have a replacement one, you may end up being stuck guys in the middle of nowhere or they can be seriously overpriced. So what we do, we usually buy some spare ones. We put in the glove box for a peace of mind. We'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.